What's going on guys? Today we are back and today we are working on Burnt Toast, my 1989 Toyota pickup fire restoration project. Brought to you in part by Overland Outfitters. I'm curious, what do you guys think of the name Burnt Toast? One of you guys left a comment naming it that and I actually had a pretty good laugh. And uh, I think it's gonna stick. Anyways, last time you guys saw me, I gutted the interior of the truck, and this time around, I'm gonna start by removing what is left of the engine bay. And just like the interior, I don't plan on removing anything nicely, unless it's easier to remove it nicely, because I'm going to replace literally, like, everything that is left in the engine bay. Alright, well the engine bay is now pretty much all gutted. So uh, I guess that means it's time for yet another shop back time lapse. So after taking everything off the firewall, I decided to go ahead and attack the cleaning with some wax and grease remover. And as you can see, it did a pretty good job. All of the black from the firewall is all cleared up and you can really see the area that got burnt. So now I'm going to grab my grinder with a sanding disc and go to town on this burnt area. All right, so I've been working on this area for a little bit here, and as you can see, it's actually cleaning up really, really well. So the plan now is I'm gonna scuff all of this up with sandpaper, use some wax and grease remover, clean it all up, and then hit it with some primer in just this area so that it doesn't flash rust on me. So it is now the next day, and the primer that I laid on the firewall yesterday, I mean, it looks great. You can't even tell that there was a fire there. So now the plan is to do that to the entire rest of the engine bay, starting with, well, let's clean up the rest of the firewall. Now to continue prepping the whole engine bay for paint, I gotta take the front fenders off because I wanna paint underneath here and get it all to match and look nice.
Okay, so now I've got the entire inside of the engine bay all sanded down and scuffed up. After that, I took some wax and grease removed or cleaned it all up, and now it's time to lay down some paint. Well, some primer anyways. Perfect, so it's been quite the few hours and now the primer is all dried up. Next up, I'm gonna lay down a layer of textured coating. Now this will just add a little bit of extra protection to the engine bay and I think it might look good. On top of this, I do plan on getting more of the cement gray paint and then color matching on top of this so it'll be a texturized gray to match the rest of the truck. It should look really good, so uh, let's lay this down. The engine bay is now painted, and holy does that look fantastic. Now I am really glad I decided to color match the rocker guard. Like, it looks great. And now that that is done, I took masking tape and masked every single hole that goes into the other side of the firewall. So now, it's time to repeat what I did to the whole engine bay, sand it all down, uh, you know, to the interior. <laughs> and that, you guys are gonna have to wait till next week to see. Also, as some of you guys may know, I do a live show with my friend Sean, The Story Till Now, and Casey from KC250 called Flex Friday Live. And normally, this appears on Sean's channel, but we're moving it to its own dedicated channel. So, if you guys want to check that out and subscribe, that would be great. Links are in the description below, and uh, yeah. Anyways guys, if you like this stuff, please remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and uh, hey, we'll see you next week. I'ma make a couple stacks, do exactly what I want to Mix a couple tracks, get a lady that I'm drawn to Turn up to the max, get me faded till I'm gone, dude I do what I want, couldn't stop me if you wanted to I just work hard, yeah, harder than the rest Some people say I'm lucky, others say I'm